In today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into KPIs in Data Studio. So let's get going by selecting BigQuery, selecting Chicago Taxi Trips, and adding that to the data set. And then we're ready to get going with some KPIs about these Chicago Taxi Trips. And really, I just chose this data set because there's some understandable KPIs we can get up and running pretty quick. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to do a date range control. So you would need a date range control really to demonstrate the KPIs because it's really for showing a KPI plus a comparison. But for a comparison, you need a date range. And this is the normal scorecard within um, Google Data Studio. Not great out of the box, but we can change a few bits to make it a lot better. First of those bits is I'm going to go and look at my comparison range. So what the comparison range does, it'll pick a period or you can, you can make this static. I'm going to pick previous year and that's the year previous to my KPI. But I have to set a date range for my KPI for that to be active. So I'm choosing the 1st of January 21 to the 31st of December 21. And you can see there's a 1.5% difference in my comparison range. So that's pretty simple um, just to add a comparison range to a KPI. Now we're going to go through a bit of styling. We can make the numbers compact, which makes sense in this case, and then put a decimal precision in just to make that a bit better. You can change the colors of these up and down arrows in the KPI. I'm not too worried about those. You can show an absolute change. This shows a change in absolute rather than percentage. I'm going to keep a percentage for mine. You can deal with missing data. We don't really need that. We can make things a little bit bigger and then we can orientate them on the page a little bit. Um, we can hide metrics and stuff like that. If you wanna change the title of the scorecard, change it out here on the outside so it's not in the style itself. We can go down here and go, where do we want this KPI within this box? I'm gonna to choose to just have it in the middle. And then with that, it works along with padding, which I'll get onto soon. So we can change the background color I'm going to leave this the way it is for now. We can change the border type, the border width. I'm going to choose a dashed border for this with a width of two. And as I said, padding is where do you want this within the box? So I just changed my top padding there to just bring it down a little bit. Um, so that one looks okay to me. And now I can duplicate this a few times so I can get and um, the same kind of KPIs all over the place and just change the data point. So I'm going to change for this one, I'm going to just change it to fair. And this is how you would do it. You'd create one KPI the way you like it, then just duplicate them all across. And Google Data Studio has nice little lines in here to make sure you're aligning them correctly. And it's the same uh, distance between each one. I'm going to change this one into uh, trips in miles. So this is the amount of miles traveled over that period. And then I am going to bring in two more. So the fancy thing you can do in data studios, you can select them all and just resize them all as one so that it's a shift, select them all and resize them as one. And what I'm going to do with these ones here is I'm going to change them to averages. So I'm going to go an average of extras. Um, and I'm going to show you something else with another gauge chart later on to show you how we will keep, keep that within a range. I'm going to do an average of extras and I'm going to do the average trip in miles here. So that's my KPI boxes. And I was going to show you how this would work with a, a um, control in here. So with the control I'm going to use is I'm going to put company in here and we can see how these KPIs are for a specific company or a subset of companies. So I'm going to just choose one company here and you can see all their different KPIs in here if you wanted to um, look at a single company. So another KPI type thing I'm going to show you is a gauge and this is in the Google um, community visualizations but this one's created by Google. So this is a gauge chart and we're going to look at extras in here and we're going to look at the average of extras. So this is really keeping something within a range and seeing how you're doing. So I've got 2.6 in here is my average and then in the style I can kind of style this a little bit better so I have 10 gauges and then you can choose for your green uh, yellow and red what ranges you want so I'm going to choose 2 to 5 5 to 7 and then 7 to 10 for the red so if you were looking at this from a business perspective you'd say okay 
we're nearly in good range we don't want to go much higher than that if i duplicate this one and use the same for the average miles and trips and in our uh, hypothetical range for the average miles and trips six would be in the orange so it's something we would have to look at uh, for a metric but this is super useful just to go right where am i in my percentage metrics am i in a good place i'm in the green i'm in the yellow i'm in the red and been able to look at that quite easily age is the only community visualization kpi i would use because they aren't that reliable hope you found this video useful and i'll catch you next time for another data studio tutorial